A potential danger in San Diego two years later. The nuclear disaster in Fukushima, Japan may be affecting the health of young children. That's right. New numbers obtained by 10 News suggest that possibility. And 10 News reporter Michael Chen looks at which children may be vulnerable to the fallout. Another beautiful day along the bay. The air feels nice, but a new report says there may have been hidden dangers in our air soon after the nuclear meltdown in Japan. A destructive tsunami, nuclear meltdowns, and two years later, the potential fallout for San Diego. We, we should take this very seriously. Joseph Mangano heads the New York-based research group Radiation and Public Health Project. He says the winds carried radiation particles across an ocean while rain dumped those particles in places like San Diego. The group obtained eight air samples conducted by the EPA in the month and a half after the nuclear disaster began. It found that beta radiation levels in San Diego were more than six times the normal amount. While those are still low levels, it may have harmed children. The research group looked at those most vulnerable, infants, along with a gland susceptible to radiation, the thyroid. In a study of states in the West Coast and in the Pacific, Infants born soon after the nuclear disaster were 28% more likely to develop congenital hypothyroidism, which can lead to stunted growth. In California, that number jumped to 39%. It's a little scary. While some San Diegans are unnerved, critics say there's still no direct evidence those radiation levels can harm humans. Ashley Moran's son is five years old. You know, he's perfectly fine now. I don't notice any differences. No, I'm not going to worry about it. But Mangano says there should be concern. Because if the radiation is impacting the young, the true impact may not be known for years, even decades. Michael Chen, 10 News. And Mangano says he plans more studies in the next year looking at the fallout and any links to infant deaths and birth defects.